I'm Ashley Anton here at Mission Taco, and we are going to find m about more of your players. I've got Jose and Amir here. Jose, are you ready? Ready. <laughs> Amir, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, first question, gentlemen. What is in your playlist in your car right now? Um, a lot of hip-hop. A lot of old-school hip-hop, but I've also been listening to the, the new Drake album, so more life. So it's good. What, what's some old-school stuff? Give me an idea. Ooh, a lot of, uh, see, I'm from, like, North Jersey, New York area, so I'm, I'm on, uh, like, Nas, uh, Biggie, Mob Deep, that type of music. All right, very good. Uh, same as him, but uh, I also like 50 Cent. Uh, but I also listen to a lot of Bosnian music where I'm from, so that's a little different from him. But everything else is the same. Have you been able to turn any of your uh, friends and the teammates on any kind of Bosnian music that they might not have heard before? Uh, a lot of players here, like four or five players are from the same place as me, so we kind of listen to the same music. But other than that, not really. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. If you were not playing professional soccer, what would you be doing? Amir, you're first. Uh... What would I be doing? That's a hard question. I never really thought about it. Probably, I would, I would probably go into teaching. I, would, I always wanted to be a gym teacher, so probably something with that. Cool. Um, I think I would have found my way somehow to be involved in a sport. You know, I, I, I love the sports in my family. I grew up watching it, so definitely something involved, you know, with soccer. For sure. Oh, so you always grew up watching soccer or all sports? Uh, mostly soccer, mostly soccer, yeah. But I mean, I, I like all sports too. So I mean, never know. I played baseball growing up, so never know. Okay, biggest pet peeve, either that you see people do, or maybe a roommate. What's your pet peeves? Uh, pet peeve. My pet peeve was when I was in school, and the teacher would write on a chalkboard and with that no with that loud noise. Uh, or also when people play loud music uh, like on uh, on uh, weekdays past like 11 or something people are trying to sleep that's my pet peeve now was your name ever like on the chalkboard for like you know acting unruly or anything sometimes sometimes <laughs> okay <laughs> for you my biggest pet peeve I honestly can't think of anything I mean I guess babies on a plane I don't know what was that <laughs> babies on a plane babies on a plane okay because I can't sleep you know <laughs> okay maybe some like some of those ear things you could put in maybe uh, I'll try next I haven't tried it but uh, yeah I will next time. Ideas for next time. Okay. All right, guys. Best pickup line that you have used or someone has used on you? I feel like you've got one. Uh, you're putting me on a spot. I can't even think of any. Uh, can you ask him and then come back? Okay, okay. I don't really use pickup lines. Uh, I'm a, I don't know. I'm an old, old school kind of guy where I just go up, say hi, how are you doing, start a conversation nice and easy without just jumping right into it. So. All right. Nice and smooth. Okay. Um, pretty, yeah, that's a good answer. Uh, pretty much the same. Just, uh, pretty old school, you know, just, it's just a regular high. Old school and classic. I like it. Okay. <laughs> dream, dream vacation spot. Where have you been or where have you always wanted to go? Where I want to go? Uh, I want to go to Spain, probably Barcelona, just to experience how they live there and I have a lot of good beaches and just the soccer environment there too, to watch some of the top uh, soccer teams and just see the culture, different cultures. Um, I'm Colombian, so I mean, anytime I get some time off, uh, definitely Colombia, just to explore it more and uh, see the beaches there, so I'll say Colombia. Okay, awesome, very good. Okay, so tell me, where do you guys see yourself 10 years from now? Where are you living? What are you doing? Uh, hopefully in Europe, playing soccer somewhere in... Uh, in Europe or they're close to my home home country or my uh, I always wanted to go to Germany and uh, play soccer there and live there so hopefully it works out um hopefully he's still playing <laughs> but it'll be tough at almost at 40 but um, it's just involved in a sport it's just I mean that's all I know so I mean involved in a sport somehow okay good okay tell me it's your last meal I need to know your entree the drink of choice and the dessert. Last entree. Uh, I like Italian food, so probably some kind of some kind of pasta with some chicken and dessert. Uh, fudge cake. I love fudge cake. That's my favorite. <laughs> what are you drinking? A drink. 
Is it, is it alcohol? Or? Either way. Maybe a margarita. Just a regular margarita. <laughs> okay. Now, now, do you cook anything? Do you cook pasta? Do you bake any fudge cakes? Uh, I can make some pasta, but I'm not a I'm not a good cook. That's my mom does that my whole life, so not a good cook. I don't know how to, dessert. I don't know how to make any dessert. So that's right. You play soccer well. It's fine. <laughs> um, definitely Spanish foods. I mean, uh, big fan of Peruvian food, Colombian food. So anything. Uh, yeah, pretty much that's it. And do you cook though? I do cook. I cook every day. Yeah, as healthy as possible, but I, I, mean, I try. I'm not too good, but I try. <laughs> That's right. You still eat it, though, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, last question. One celebrity um, or athlete that you would want to meet, who is it? And what would you say to them if you met them? Go, go for okay. it. Okay. Um, I think I want to meet, uh, what was, a big fan of Michael Jordan. I think meeting Michael Jordan would be cool just to pick his brain and uh, ask him just just to see how, how his mind was when, when he was uh, when he was younger in his prime, you know, I would like to ask him how he felt and what got him to that level. Okay, good. For me, it would be uh, Michael Ballack. He was one of my favorite players. He's retired now. When I was young, he played for Germany, played for some of my favorite teams, Bayern. I just wanted to, I mean, I would talk to him about his career, what he had to do since I'm a young player right now, and just uh, what, uh, what he had to overcome to get there and Stuff like that. I mean, awesome. All right, gentlemen. Well, thank you for your time and thank you for showing your fans a little bit about who you guys are.